Warning, the following video contains scenes of a graphic nature including nudity. My channel introduction video already describes my channel as being for adult viewing only, but due to the graphic nature of the following video, viewer discretion is advised. Some of the main mission crime cases in L.A. Noir which the player has to investigate are based on real life crimes. In the following video, a lady is shown naked with severe cuts, bruising and injuries consistent to having the skin removed. Viewers of a nervous disposition are advised not to watch this video. Hello my geeky guys and gals. Today we're playing L.A. Noir. This is a fucking great game from the people of um, fucking hell, what's in it? Rockstar. <laughs> Bloody hell, I forgot it there. I mean, of course, it's actually taken me half an hour to try and get this fucking game up and running, and to get the um, recording software to actually recognise it and start recording the game. But anyway, we're up and running now, so here we go. Now I've gone quite far into this game so I will say spoiler alert, spoiler alert because if you've played this game but not gotten really far this might spoil it for you. However, I've got this game at the time when it also included some DLC missions as well. So, and the, the thing about the DLC missions on this as well is they don't all play in the consecutive order. They might kick in one mission and then go to the normal mission get strategy that came with the vanilla game. Or they might run two and th two to three missions um, at the same time. Sorry I can't speak here because it fucking took me half an hour to get it running! <sighs> Stupid computer. Anyway, so yeah, the, the DL DLC missions can either run consecutively or pop up at any time in the game. Now I've just completed one DLC mission, I know it's a DLC mission, as for the next one I don't know. So let's get into it and see what kind of um, crime we're going to be solving. Now a good thing about this game is the facial animation. It is absolutely storming. You've never seen anything like this in a game before. If you've never played L.A. Noir, go and get it. It's fucking great just for the facial animation itself. I mean you look at them. You watch them talking and you see their muscles in the throat contracting, you see the skin rippling, you see them blinking their eyes, looking around everywhere. I mean this would make GTA 5 absolutely exception sorry, exceptional even if this kind of facial animation was included in that game. Now don't get me wrong, GTA 5 does have some great animation in it as well. And they've managed to now include the same kind of animation in the main game as well as the cutscenes as well. Whereas GTA 4. The silk stocking murder. Okay. Yeah, GTA 4 has only got the best animation in cutscenes and some basic animation in in game scenery as well. So, anyway, let's see. Oh, no, we're still with the detectives. I'm having lunch right now, it seems. Can I have a hot dog? Oh, you mustard and ketchup, I'd fancy some of that right now. Woman near City Hall. On a hot dog, of course, not custom mes mes uh, mustard on its own. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. No, ooh, naked, naked woman. Right. You know, um, the last well, mission I just played also in co contained uh, the body of a naked woman and it only contained, it only let you see the pubic hair, not actual genitalia. I'm going to have to look at YouTube's policy of nudity. Strange thing is I've actually have seen games that's on YouTube that's showing um, topless women. I can't see that if, if there's been some naked women actually shown on YouTube. I've seen other games that show on pixelated women and that's been allowed because it's um, I don't know whether it's just because it's pixelated or not yeah okay um, let's go right um, let's 
go to the map. Where do I've got? Where have I got to go? Oh, it's not too far. So where? Right. So I am pointing in the right direction. So what I'll do? Swing the, onto the first right. Three junctions down. Go straight onto Los Angeles Street, and that should take me straight there. Right. One creepy uh, thing about this game is that it's based upon real life murders that's happened in the past. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Which makes it so, so brilliant to play. And this is another thing as well, because these are these um, naked women that's in the game, they're victims of a crime. So they're not going to be posed in a pornographic way, so hopefully YouTube will allow it, but we'll see. If it... Oh, what the fuck, man? Idiot. Yeah, you can get call outs as well, but I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight to the main mission. Here we are, Los Angeles Street. So, I, yeah, I'm still gonna play this. Before I upload it, I am gonna check out YouTube's nudity policy and see what they say. If any YouTube administrators actually see this video, I'd just like to point out that the nudity in this game is portrayed in a non-sexual manner. So if I, if I do see the policies which does allow this and I do upload it without any blurring or editing, please let me know first before removing it. Right, here we go, right, where are we now? They're behind some buildings. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Let's go. It's got to be her feet there. Yeah, she is. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Right. Okay, let's have a look at her. Oh bloody hell, look at her neck. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. That is gruesome. Look good grief. The skin has been ripped out from the looks of that. That's ooh. As I say, the Ugh. Based on meal murders. What's this? Twenty-one years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Right. So a library is a place of interest. Oh, look at her, that on her torso. Kiss, Kiss the, the blood, blood ED. Okay. Yeah, I'll just quickly point out on this particular scene if it has to be blurred. All I'm looking at right now at the crotch area is pu pubic hair. There's no actual genitalia on show in this game. Right, what's this on her arm here? Oh, there's been a ring cut off. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. Oh, it's gone down to the Stand bone. Out of the fingernails. Oh, it's right gone down to the bone, is that? That is proper gruesome. Yeah, I think I've checked everything out there. Laceration there on the right breast as well. That's, mm. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, battered. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. We know the MO. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women. All murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Just look at that facial animation, though. You see, watch the necks and things like that. Small man shoe. 
further blunt force Look at that. The that is region fucking brilliant. Skull. Facial animation. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Right. Next thing, what we've got to do now, we've got to check the body. We've got to check out the local area. So we've got some blood here. There's bloody sock. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. No, it's not so. It's um, stocking, I think. What's this over here? Cigarettes and something else. Doesn't look like that. that's anything of interest. Probably just some trash. What have we got here? Tissues. I hope no one's tried to have a, have a wank after seeing that girl there. Eh? That is pretty nasty. Right, what else have we got? Um, he's marked that as beast. I think that's just marking the body. Uh, let's go. What have we got over here by the car? Looks like Blink Mister. Don't know. Not sure about that, but I don't think it's anything relevant. And a broken polystyrene cup. Oh, just a crushed cup. No, it's nothing. Right. Next. Anywhere else? I doubt this is going to be anything over here. Stop kidding, Phelps. Come see. Now. Let me just have a look at these first. I doubt these are going to be anything. Bourbon whiskey. Sound strong. Is there anything in there? There wasn't anything behind the bush there. Right, okay. Oh, he's over there by the f um, boxes and storage container. Whoa. Was she dragged over there? Bells, you mind coming here and doing your job for a second? Oh, shut up, I'm coming. Oh, it's a hat. You'll want to come and take a look at this. Something in there. Antonia. Antonia. I bet that's her name. Same as a library card. Right. Look at that blood. I wonder if she's being smacked. No, look at the blood trail. It's going for ages. Those are tyre marks. I think, maybe. On it goes. I was going to say, it can't be the police car. Let's have a look at these pipes. It's a key. Key number House five. Keys strung up like bait on a hook. Interesting. This is another great thing about this game. You've really got to put your detective head on and think about everything. And there's something over here as well. Oh, my co controller vibrated here. Uh, I don't think there's anything. I think it's more likely that. Cipher. Four five three. Okay. And that's where the trail is. Somewhere. Probably all the way to City Hall. Ah! Oh, look at that blood there on the fire escape. I knew I, knew I could feel my controller vibrate. 
feeding her to the birds? And this is a, a Mal, Maldondado. I bet that's her name, Antonia Maldondado. See what we've got in empty. Empty? Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Hmm. Fairly wants us to. We've been put through there, and there's some more on the roof here. Oh, something flashing over there. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. This is weird. You know, there are some real sick motherfuckers in the world to do things like this. It's continue even more. Ooh. What? Trail points up. How the hell does this go all the way through there? Am I facing a predator? Goes into the air. Oh, another key. No, it's a ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. Uh, What's the significance? That's the ring that's been pulled from a finger. I'll tell you what, I'm glad this is 1940. I thought there's more blood there. I'm glad this is 1940s because you're going around touching everything, putting your DNA on it. You can't do any fucking DNA tracking that modern day you can. What's this? Paint? Eesh! Don't tell me he's used her blood to paint things. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Oh, he was. A oh, sick bastard. And the purse up here. <laughs> what have we got now? The other side of the... Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado. Yeah. 712 North Hill Street downtown. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Right, so you've done the cutscene for me right back to the end. Let's get into the car. Right. Next. So where do we go? Bloody hell. Right, there it is. Point of interest there. That's her residence. Nothing yet to indicate where the library is. There's her vehicle. Nothing to do yet with a crime scene. That red man is a crime in progress. Our street crime location. No. I can't see anything. Oh, look, all those hidden cars. I can't see anything that would point out that the library is a point of interest yet. Okay, right, so let's go to her place. So we come out, swing a right. Might as well just go right to the end and then right again. Then left, and we're pretty much there. Yep. Let's go. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him. We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework? Ah, fuck the, the traffic lights. I've got a video to do. And, you know, there's ways of getting. I'm sure. Normally, when I play this game on my own, I do follow the traffic system. The only time I do run red lights is when I'm actually doing a, a car chase. So we go left up here. Hey, look at the old timey tram there. 
Ding ding. That's a fun thing as well. Cars can also travel on the tram lines in this as well. So uh, you come at a red light and stop and then a tram pulls up behind you. The tram stops as well rather than just push you out of the way like the old buses did in GTA Vice City when they're pulling into a bus stop. Right, so residence is further up. I don't, uh, yeah, I think that's it there. Let's park up here. No, it's further up. Wrong one. So this has got to be here. Yeah, there we go. nice no pets allowed ah oh, okay so it's it's um, an apartment block not an, her actual house wait just a moment the level of graphics on this game is brilliant. I'm sorry can I help you LAPD ma'am Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. Not I'm anymore. Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Come into my parlor, Walker, said the spider to the fly. It's his wife. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no! She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive. And then they're, they're gone. gone? <laughs> Antonia's room is upstairs. Last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Right. So, upstairs on the left. Last door on the left, should I say. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Oh, shut up. Okay, so on this floor, last one on the left. It's got to be this one, number five. The same key as I bought so early. Look at that. Someone's turned the place over. That's her address. Something inside it. What a. That's good at least. I remember the family of my opinion. Petition to this. I am writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled. Okay. Oh, I'm told that your husband, da 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 da, residing blah 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 blah, has been served with the official okay, papers. We have an uh, many women in your position choose not to do so. I would advise you to also appear in the Central District Court. Uh, looks like some kind of divorce procedure then. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else we've, we can see in this apartment. Oh, look at that. Someone's broken in. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. We've got over here. Photo. That's what she looks like. Oh, it wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Mm-hmm. I've well, just had a look at that. Come on, put it away. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Can we get outside? Because I want to see what was that on the roof. Can't get in through there. Hmm, let's have a quick look down this corridor. And get out here. Nope. 
Yeah, it's just a little balcony anyway. Right. Let's go back and talk to the owner. She, she, she might know something about the window. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Well, I'll just point out as well now, my geeky guys and gals, these um, investigations can be quite long, so I will be doing some jump cuts of the most boring parts, you know, like walking through houses, um, getting to the people. But I'm going to keep in the main parts um, interviewing people. Right, so, uh, possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. I thought so. Divorce papers. A mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. It is a divorce. I think she was telling tell the truth there. Look at her face. She's stern as anything. Truth. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her. Very cruel. She was a good girl. Little on the religious side, but a good girl. Okay. Got that what one time right. did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No. I I've no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Um She's looking down, but she's not really giving any no. Look how stern she was before. No, I doubt that one. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. <laughs> She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. Oh, I got that right. A casino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Oh, wicked. You've had a break in? No, that can't be true. Fuck's sake, that's a straight out You're being right? economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Um, here we go. Broken window, that's the one. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. Raccoon at the milk bottles, okay. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Got Antonia right. and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. <laughs> she don't like her husband. Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No, there's the um, the bracelet as well, right? So that one's a lie. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Uh. There we go. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. And I got all far right. Woohoo! Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away. So, yeah, that's uh, the thing about L.A. Noir. You've really got to listen in to what the people are, are saying to you and look at their facial expressions to see whether they're telling the truth. And then you've got to make your own decision as to whether they are or not. So, uh, I'm going to do a jump cut here and, um, until I get to the bar. So, I'll see you in a bit, my geeky guys and gals. Okay, so here we are. We're just pulling up now. On this side. Oh, shama. There it is. There's the bar. El Dorado. What 
can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, being a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Oh, I can't that get that over that facial animation, it's do? great. She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Okay. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Where's that goddamn place? What have we got in here? Horse papers. Okay. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Okay. So the possibility is that she didn't. She got upset with him over something. Oh, question time. All right. But we've got to listen into this. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. No, you'd know that. Doubt that. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Mm-hmm. No bam, I did not notice when a person like that would want to leave. Right. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. Hmm. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. He seems pretty short, but he's blinking a lot. I'm gonna say true for that one. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Oh, I got That's it right. Been a big help. I no mean, it appears I've um, unlocked hey. an outfit. Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question: What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aquilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Okay. Right, I want to try and find this temp guy. See if he's still here. Because he said he'd know more. Say, honey, what time you get off wooden table? Oh, something here. Something here. A waitress. Controls vibrating. Ah, here we go, the phone. So the phone was out of order. You drove me up from Ohio. <laughs> Can't really see if there's anything else. So there's a possibility that that is true. There really is nothing else around it. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can go out back and see if the temp's there. There Sir, it is. Do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. Oh, no. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. Fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. <laughs> yeah. You were well interested with that one, eh? Um, right, so some kind of delivery. There we go, boxes. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. Nothing else. Do a little quick recon of the area. And if there's nothing else here, jump cut to the fruit market. Alright, so here we are at the fruit market. Now, it wasn't actually that far to be honest with you, geeky guys and guys, but you know, as I say, I want to keep this as short Great. as possible. Uh, we'll there was nothing else in the back of the bar, in the parking lot, so. 
here I am now at the fruit market. I've still got the husband's house to, to um, go to afterwards. But let's see what we can f see here. Now, there's something yellow over here. <laughs> Banana skin. Wow, that's evidence. Right, so it's locked. The shutters are down. But the guy was doing a delivery. Why is my map... Oh, I see. Um, I wonder if I've got to go around back unless there's a door there. I doubt that is it. That's a cafe though. Hmm. This is the fruit market, but it seems to be closed. Excuse me. <sighs> Bit of beans last night. Still got it on me. Oh, it's right opposite the murder scene, look. Let's just walk round the block. See if there's an entrance round the back. That's not the fruit market, is it? No, that's a um, bakery. Ding! You can go! That's a good thing as well. I see the guys, and the pedestrians moving out of your way. Right, can I get in here? I'm gonna have a quick look in here, my geeky guys and gals. Pardon? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a look in here. Uh, if there's nothing else in here, I'm gonna end the part here, but this investigation is not over. I'm going to play through this entire investigation for you, my geeky guys and gals. You ain't going to miss out. Only the jump cut, jump cuts for the driving scenes, that's it. Anything in, in the... No, just a load of wood. Nothing there. I don't think there's anything back here. That'd be too far out. Okay, right. And, uh, there's nothing down here at all. Right, I'm going to end the part here and start off part two when I get to the husband's house, or the soon to be ex husband. And then we're going to pick up the investigation from there. If, however, I see anything else on the way, I will pick up the video from there. So for the time being, my geeky guys and gals, bye bye for now. Well, I love the chase till 